the bells indicate the start of our ride today. Up the Stelvio Pass with more GPS's than uh, you could imagine. So Ray today is doing a vlog style post of us riding the Stelvio. Talking about what tech he has and uh, just generally enjoying the day out. So I'll do a, mm, I can't duplicate the content, so I'll, I'll do a behind the scenes with DC Rainmaker and GP Llama up the Stelvio. It's just begun. That's hurting. I think so, there's got to be a coffee shop up here. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich. cargo bike now with a little like I'm, I'm not a fan of e-bikes but I can see their appeal uh, well I can see their appeal about a kilometer to today's ride whoa that's phenomenal but look it's it's actually doable at our pace we're probably 80 yeah. percent I guess going up we're not racing anyone we're just chilling yeah. out and saying hello and I'm trying to remember the Italian numbers for those corners so it's not happening at the moment I can do Dieci. see I'm sort of halfway there you can then do uh, Aussie that's different Aussie's easy G'day corner. <laughs> Next one. Mate. But then we have to beat this one out because it's... Oh no, it's people. Oh, we'll beat that. That's typically what I've been saying when we come around the corner. So the ride so far has been pretty consistent going up. What we found though, so it was a consistent four, five, six percent. I haven't got the gradient showing. I don't want to know. Four or five? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, it so was it's... a consistent eight to nine percent according to the Edge 1030. Which this year I would believe. Last year it was doing the doubling thing. So you remember my Swiss ride from last year's up in the corner somewhere on mm -hmm. live video and not in his, but um, that was having problems with the Edge 1030 was doubling it. So a eight percent became sixteen <laughs> and uh, ten became twenty and so on. Um, no, sorry, it was the other end. It was it was having it. So a twelve percent oh. became six. It was even worse. Oh no, that's that's worse than yeah. It was miserable because you feel um, like you're in having a good day if you're doubling it, but. Um, 
And then what happened in the last probably 5k there, it sort of it, it dipped up and then dipped down and we, we actually had a small descent we had. for about 5 metres. But and what you get is a slap in the face. We did. It was definitely left you immediately following that. So yeah. it goes about, what, six, seven, eight percent. Yep. Down yeah. for a few metres, it banked 12 percent. So uh, I think it's probably been designed like that just for cyclists. Yeah, That's definitely. Brutal. These guys have the right idea. All these uh, motorbikes here, they're, they're a lot smarter than us. They're just, they're having a much nicer day. Disc brakes too. <laughs> All right, we've got about probably 10k to go, I think, and about a thousand meters of climbing. So, temperature's still pretty good. We have jackets yeah. and things though, because we're seeing people come down descending. And we saw some Aussies before. We did. And we'll have to jump on Strava flybys tonight. Yep. Because if it's not on Strava here, it ain't happening. Taken until corner 16 to go, 23, 20 meters altitude. You can finally hear the cows over here with their bells on. Oh, we can hear the high powered supercars. Okay, cow patrol done, we found the cows. We've found the cows. Oh! That was our celebration! Ah, oh, quick, you can save it. Five second rule! <laughs> I may have just caught that on camera. The guy was about to celebrate with his wife a bottle of something, he dropped it and it just sprayed everywhere. <laughs> Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone. The good earth is rich.
So we made it up here in about two hours, plus or minus a few percent, I guess. We were uh, stopping a few times for a bit of extra water and having a bit of fun on the way taking some photos. It's a little colder up here. There is quite a bit of snow still around. So what we're going to do is pop over the other side a few kilometres and come back around and back into town down here. I believe that's the climb. Where we're going down is the climb that Tom Dumoulin uh, changed his watts per kilo at the bottom of before going up. That's what the ones we're going to go down. So it should be a pretty good descent. Okay, done and dusted. We've been up there and back and around. What was with the last couple of Ks? That was, <laughs> that's kind of sucky. That was probably the hardest part of the day. At least the hills we knew they were there. Whereas a long flat headwind, I mean, it could have been a tailwind. So it's anyway. It's technically downhill too. That was the worst part. It didn't feel downhill. It yeah. felt pretty slow. So all up for the day, 65 Ks. Doesn't seem a lot. But we've been out there a fair long time. And uh, how long have out there? Like Three and a, I've got three and a half, but my auto pause was all kind of uh, yeah. fudgy. So, but it was a, a very good day, and tons of other cyclists around too. Everyone enjoying it, motorcyclists. No incidents with cars whatsoever. Everyone was pretty polite. Um, we left five hours and twenty minutes ago. Oh man! That's and that was fun. after breakfast, and we have only had strudel. Strudel. The strudel was good. It was good. It kept me not hungry. I wouldn't say full. But there's now pizza back here, which is going to be demolished. So we'll call it a day for there. Links to Ray's video on this, which covers a lot of the tech that he was using today. So the bike, or well, obviously it's covered in tech for Ray. And uh, yeah, he went through step by step on the way up and also some drone footage, which I'm gonna have to copy the SD card from as well, because I think we can duplicate that content because that was epic and everyone needs to see it. So Super cool. thanks for the ride, Ray. Yep. And thanks for coming along everybody. And it's now back to the RV to edit videos from Eurobike. Boom. What happens when you forget your bike? <laughs>